Hi, my name is Pam O'Brien and I work at STEM Scopes. And like you, I have been spending a lot of time in my home lately, especially my home office. The other day I noticed something really interesting about the door to my office. When I want to go into my office, I have to push on the door to open it. But when I want to leave my office, I need to pull on the door to open it. What about you? Can you think of any examples in your own home of pushes or pulls? Did you come up with some examples? Here are a few more of mine. When I want to turn on my lamp, I need to pull on the chain. When I type, I have to push down on my keys. If I want to read a book, I need to pull it off my shelf. And after a long day on the computer, I need to push back from my desk to stand up. Whether you push on an object or pull on an object, you are using force. Force is what causes an object to move. Let's conduct some investigations exploring the concept of force. This first investigation is called Make It Go. For this investigation, you will need something to build a ramp. I'm going to use this large notebook, but anything that creates an incline will do. You'll need a small empty box. You'll need a ball. Any ball that rolls will do. And then you'll need something to help you mark how far the box travels. The first thing you want to do is make sure the box is at the bottom of your ramp and then you want to take the ball and place it at the top of your ramp and release. Next, you want to take one of your markers and mark how far the box traveled. Now I'm going to have to decide, am I going to mark the front of the box or am I going to mark the back of the box? It doesn't matter, I just have to keep it consistent. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark the back of the box. We're going to go ahead and do this two more times. Why do you think it's important to do an investigation more than once? We're going to go ahead and do this investigation again, but this time we're going to change one thing. We're going to change the amount of force that is applied to the ball. Let's do this one more time. And this time, let's apply a little more force to the ball. Do you notice a pattern? Do you see a relationship between the force we applied to the ball and how far the box moved? For a second investigation called Go, 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 you will need the following materials. A rubber band that you have cut in half, some tape, a vehicle, you could either use a little car, or I'm gonna use this really cool train car. You also need something to measure with. If you don't have something to measure with, you can use something small. Like I'm gonna use a paper clip. The paper clip is approximately three centimeters long. And of course, just like in the first investigation, you're going to need something to mark how far the car traveled. 
First thing you want to do is tape both ends of your rubber band down using your tape. Then you want to take your car or your train car and you want to put it right in front of the rubber band. This is your starting line. Then you want to pull the train car back three centimeters or the length of one small paper clip. Then you release. Then I want to mark how far my car traveled. Once again, I need to choose, am I going to mark at the front of the car or the back of the car? Just like in our first investigation, I'm going to mark at the back of the car. to do this investigation again and change just one thing. We're going to go ahead and pull the car back six centimeters or two paper clips. <laughs> between how far we pulled the rubber band back and how far the car traveled. Now that we have completed two investigations together, I have a challenge for you. Can you come up with a new investigation involving force and motion? Have fun and keep exploring. Who knows what you will discover? That's the wonder of science. This activity comes from one of our scopes called Force and Motion. You can find this scope along with many other resources for free at stemscopes.com. But for now, I'm gonna to have to say goodbye. I've gotta get back to work. Take care. <laughs>